Come on, come on over and come sit nicely. Thank you so much. This is part of my level one group. We got some kids missing. Uh, this is our liftoff pre-team and they are going to be with us today doing our floor practice. So with our liftoff group, we only have 20 minutes on floor. So it's super important that we're so focused and use our time wisely. We have to be so efficient, right? So we're gonna get started with our warm up. Now these girls know what we do for warm up. We try to keep our warm up pretty consistent so that they know what to expect. So they are all gonna line up behind this wedge for me and they are going to do, and this is right in the middle of our crowded floor. There was just another group here, so there was no prep for this. This is very accurate as to what actually happens. Backward roll to a tuck, stand up and finish. Now the goal of the backward roll is to keep our knees what? Tight, but do they touch the ground or not? No. No, they don't touch the ground. That's right. Back roll to tuck, stand up and finish. Tuck, stand up and finish. Good. Then they're going to come to me and we're going to do a spotted car wheel. I'm going to stop them in the middle and we're going to make sure they're looking underneath their correct armpit. Their hand is turned in and I help them to do a step together, stand. Finish. Very good. Then they go to the back of the line. Go ahead, Ella. Backward roll to tuck, stand up and finish. The reason I say it is because I like for them to understand the rhythm of how it happens in their routine. Mountain climber for me, cover your ears. Cartwheel, freeze in the middle, tight legs, pointed toes, pushing maximum extension. I love she's looking underneath her armpit and her hand is turned in. Step together and finish, good. Back of the line, go ahead Ellie. Backward roll to tuck, stand up and finish. Her knees stayed off the ground, that's great. High five, you are awesome. Ready, you're a lefty, so she already knows she's a lefty, so she's gotta start on this side. Mountain climber, cover your ears. Left leg out in front, cartwheel. Look underneath your armpit, turn this hand in. Yes, good, pointed toes, and step together. Arms up, finish, very good. Back of the line. Backward roll to tuck, stand up and finish. Good, come to me. She's a lefty as well, so she's gonna come to this side. It's really important that you know who your lefties and your righties are. And the best way, mountain climber, to memorize it is only memorize who your lefties are because you're gonna have fewer of them. Look underneath your armpit. Good, pointed toes and step together. Arms up and finish. And I do this at every level, that spotted cartwheel, all the way up through level five. Go ahead, Olivia because that hand being turned in is going to help them with their souks in the future. It's going to help them with their round offs. Go ahead. Point, push, and step together. Good job. Try to pull those arms up with your chest. Let's yell a backward roll to tuck, stand up, and finish. Good. Mountain climber. Point. Good looking. Watch your feet land. Good. Very good. All right, I think it's Ellie's turn. Backward roll to tuck, stand up and finish. Backward roll to tuck, stand up and finish. Good, all right, come here. Lefty, mountain climber, cover your ears, bend both legs. Bend your legs, there you go, cartwheel. Point, straighten legs, look underneath. Yes, you fixed it yourself, you knew what I was gonna say. Very smart, smart gymnastics. Go ahead, back of the line. Go ahead, girl. Backward roll to tuck, stand up and finish. Good, come over here. All right, girls, everybody come stand here. Go ahead, one last cartwheel. Don't get kicked by Harper though, that would be bad. Point, step together. All right, girls, stand like you're ready to learn. Stand like you're ready to learn right in front of me, right in front of me because we just need to go over one thing. So we're just gonna review something because I think we might have forgotten this just a little bit. I'm gonna show you girls from the side. This is our lunge. I'll do it for the camera too. This is our lunge. Lunge is gonna be a straight line from our fingertips to our heel. And then if we wanna make it a mountain climber, what do we do? We bend our back leg, bend our back leg, and we're gonna bring our hands forward just a little bit because what the mountain climber is gonna help us to do is get to the ground much faster so we can tumble fast when we're older. Do you girls wanna tumble really fast when you're older? Yeah. Yeah, because it's cool, right? So let's go into our lunge, lunge. Now the only difference, we're gonna bend the back leg and so that heel's gonna come up and we're gonna lean forward just a little bit. But should our ears be showing? 
No, so we should not do this, right? Ew. Ew. We don't want our breath coming out of the ears. You're right. I don't know what that means, but we definitely don't want that to happen. The arms, sure, if that helps you remember, arms cover your breath out of your ears. In a super reaching, reaching, reaching lunge, and then let's make it a mountain climber. And that's going to help us do what? What does a mountain climber help us do? Tumble slower? Tumble faster. Tumble faster. faster. That is right. Can you girls help me super speedy move all the mats over there? Super speedy. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Thanks, girls. Okay, let's come on over here. I'm going to put, since I have two righties and two lefties, I'm going to put my righties first. Righties first in line. Ella. And then I'm going to put my lefties behind them. Exactly. Right here, Harper. Right there. So we're just going to review a bit of the choreography that we have been working on, right? Okay. Now, what part of the choreography were we working on? Hang on. I'm reviewing in my own brain. Okay. What part of the choreography were we working on? Where, do you girls remember we did a chasse, plie, pose. Pose. That's the part that we've been working on. So we're going to review that because we have not done it a lot. And this is from the level one compulsory floor routine. We've only done it once, that's right. So when we finish our pivot turn, girls, we are in a lock releve position with our which foot in front? Hoppy foot in front, that is right. And then we're going to do our point. And what we're going to do is put our silly foot in front. Yes, and let's stay on a heel, on our heel, a flat foot on our happy foot. Arms out to the side, plie. Chasse, plie, pose. Now I'm just letting them copy me for now. Very good. Let's put you girls to the back of the line. Let me do it with my lefties now. You girls can go to the back of the line. Lefties, it's your turn. Yeah, I know. Uh oh. Okay, so we have our happy foot in front and we're in our hug pose. And we're in a lock releve. Now we're going to go. You girls can go a little bit behind me so that you can see me. Yeah, back with your happy foot in front, so you should look like me. Switch your feet. There you go, in our hug, and point. Now arms are in a T, and we're pointing our silly foot. Plie, chasse, plie, pose. And that pose should be so pretty and soft, right? Okay, back of the line. Now, in compulsory, it's really important to teach quality of movement. And so I'm going to guide them through which parts of this should be sharp and which parts of this should be soft and beautiful, right? So I want you girls to watch me first and then I'm going to help guide them through that. So we're in a nice pose here and we're going to go sharp, plie, sharp. Now this is soft and beautiful, right? And you girls saw the difference, right? Sharp is like when we're cutting through. Will you ladies wait nicely in third position behind your partner? This way you can learn from your partners too. Okay, girls. Hug and sharp. You should have your silly foot out in front and pointed really, really hard like getting a cramp in your toe. If you get a cramp in your toe, that means you're really cool. Okay, plie, point, plie and soft. Beautiful. All right, ready, ladies? We're going to do sharp, sharp, sharp. Soft. Can you say soft? soft. Like ballerinas, right? Ballerina. Like baller, exactly like that. That's perfect. Okay, ready? And again, that's quality of movement that we're teaching. Can you back up just a little bit, Ellie, and watch me? Here we go. Your, wait, which foot's in front? Or happy foot's in front? Happy foot in front. And here, sharp. Are you so sharp? Good, but now, yes, right leg in front. So we're going to switch. Yeah, because that's going to be your silly foot. And point it in front of you like a ballerina. Now this is going to be sharp again. Plie, sharp. Yes. Now this part's the soft part. Soft. Pose. 
Beautiful, very oh, good. Soft. soft pose, that's exactly right. High five. Oh, that was a soft high five. I like that. Let me see that soft high five again. Soft. Wow, that's beautiful. Can you do a soft high five? Soft. Can you do a sharp high five? Sharp high five? What about you? Can you do a sharp high five? Can you do a soft high five? Oh, beautiful. Sharp high five? Ooh, learn from you every day. All right, girls, let's sit on that purple line for me because we are going to play a game. A game already? A game. All right. Do you girls remember the game we played last time where we used the whiteboard and you yeah. girls were on teams yeah. and we were focused on the details in our routines? Yeah. Was that a fun game? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's do that again. This is my favorite way to get kids to focus on putting their details in their routines because I have a lot of coaches tell me. We are going to change teams. I have a lot of coaches tell me that they can get their kids to do the details if they're like super only focused on one skill at a time. But as soon as they put the routines together, it goes like a mush, right? Mush. A mush, but we don't do mush routines because we are so focused on all of our details, right? So girls, just come sit on this purple line right here. I just wanted to get closer to my whiteboard. <laughs> yeah, last time you guys, we tied. And that was crazy because I usually, I like don't like purposefully get them to tie. I like to have a winner, but uh, yeah, Ellie Martin's not here today. And that means that I'm going to take Coach Victoria out. That's great. When there's uneven teams, that means I have to play and I don't really want to play. What? Oh, goodness, girls. I don't think I can do that. No, 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 because we have Olivia and Ellie are together, and we have Ella and Harper are together, okay? I'm not using that wedge. You can have it. All right, so let's have up first, Ella. Okay, first things first, we're doing a cartwheel. Now, oh, let me get my notebook because I remember that I wrote down how we're going to get our points. Okay, you can get up to three points for this cartwheel. You can get one point if you turn your hand in. You can get another point if you look underneath your armpit. And you can get another point if you step together. Okay? Let's see it. Go ahead. Mountain climber, cartwheel, step together. Oh my gosh. Starting us off with three points. One, two, three. Team one with three points. Let's move over here, over here to Olivia. Now Olivia is going to do her best to get three points for her team. Mountain climber cartwheel step together she looked the correct direction she had her hand turned in the right way and a step together kind of turned into a step together fall back which honestly I'm not that mad about if I'm gonna be honest but two points for Olivia okay Harper Harper are you Harper it's your turn let's see so we're focused on the details the technical details which means they're focused Yes, focus meaning where they're looking with their eyes, which way that hand is turned in, and if they do step together. That turned into a step together fall, didn't it? But we're still going to get two points for that one because your hand was turned in and you were looking the correct direction. That means we're at five points for team one. Okay, team two, Ellie, are you going to get some points for your team? I bet Ellie can get some points for her team. Let's see. Mountain climber? Oh, arms are where? Yes. Cartwheel, step together. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be two points for team two. That was great, she was looking the correct direction and her hand was turned in, but we had a little bit of this happening at the end. A little bit of the little steps. Okay, let's move on to the next skill in the routine, which is, which is a what? What's the next skill in the routine? Mountain climber, cartwheel, step together. Backward roll to attack and stand. And she said it with the correct rhythm that I want too, so that's excellent. Go ahead. Backward roll. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. I forgot to tell you girls how to get points. You're going to get points up to two points for a backward roll. Your knees cannot touch the ground, and you cannot wobble as you stand up. Wah. Wah. All right, here we go. We're watching. Go ahead, Ella. No knees and no wobble. That's two points for Ella. Good job. Let's have Olivia up next from team two. Here we go. Backward roll to a tuck and stand. She really fought to keep those knees off the ground. It's crazy what these kids will do for points. All right, let's have Harper. You're next. 
backward roll, two, one, tuck, and stand. Oh, wow, what a fight there. What a fight for the two points. Good job, Ellie. Now, and because we're only focused on those two things, I'm not going to correct anything else right now. Go ahead, Allie, even though there are things that I can correct about that. Backward, roll to a tuck and stand. Roll to a tuck and stand. Oh, wow. You know what? If the hair wasn't in front of your face, you might not have wobbled there. Might not have wobbled. She does not like wearing ponytails. Okay, come and sit down. Okay, we have one more skill and then we're going to put them all together. Do you girls remember what comes after a backward roll? Backward roll to a tuck and stand. Can candlestick stand up and pose. Pose. Candlestick stand up and pose. Now, what are the things I'm looking for in the candlestick? Flat. What are these? Hips. That's right. Flat hips. And we flatten out our hips by squeezing which muscles? Your bum or your bottom. Yeah. Squeeze your bottom muscles and that's how you flatten out your hips. If you have flat hips in your candlestick, you can get a point. If you stand up and you do your pose the correct direction, you can get a point. So the righties are going to face the mirror and the lefties are going to face me. Right? Okay, let's get started with Ella. What? Righties face the mirror. So if you start facing that way. Here we go. All right. Candle stick up and pose. Look at that detail work. Oh my gosh. There was a wobble, but I didn't tell them to focus on that. So I'm still giving her her two points because she did flat hips in her candlestick and she stood up and faced the correct direction for her pose. Olivia. Candlestick, stand up and pose. Now, Olivia, I'm going to give you one point because I personally think that your hips could have been flatter. I think you could have squeezed your bottom a little bit more. Let's have Harper go. Candle. Ooh! That was the best she's ever done. And she looked the right way. Can you believe it, folks? Oh my gosh. Two points for Harper and Ellie. Let's see it. Oh gosh, team one is really getting a lot of points today. Ellie, can you get team two some points here? Before we go into the final round, candlestick, stand up and pose. Do your very best. Flat hips, flat hips, flat hips, stand up and she looked the right way. She knew it. Okay, that's going to be a point for Allie. I think you could probably flatten those hips out by squeezing your, your, your bottom a little harder. Okay, now this is the best part. So we've just broken that up. Now we're putting it together, but I'm only going to pick one focus from each skill. And the focuses that I have picked today is the hand turned in for the cartwheel is one point. Knees off the ground for the backward roll is another point, okay? Flat hips in the candlestick. You understand? So you can get a point for turning your hand in. You can get a point for keeping your knees off the what, Ellie? Ground. Ground. And you can get a point for having flat what, Ellie? Flat knees. Flat knees. Yeah. What is a flat yeah. knee? Flat yeah. hips. And how, how, how do we use flat hips? How do we do that? We squeeze. Yes, you squeeze your butt. That's right. Okay, so, Ella, this is tough. Full routine up to the candlestick pose. Oh, hello, Jumpin' Jets. Hi. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's do it with the starting poses, too. Okay, and cross, open, up, mountain climber, cartwheel, step together, backward roll to a tuck and finish, candlestick, yes. Roll up and pose. Oh my gosh. So look, she was thinking about those three things. One, two, three. You got all three points there. That was great. Next, I'm going to have Olivia. Hello. All right. And pose, cross, open, pose. Yes, mountain climber, cartwheel, step together, backward roll to a tuck and stand. She fought for those knees. Candlestick. Roll up and finish. Oh my gosh, she's gonna get all three points. I am going to give her the flat hips on that one because I feel like she made significant improvement and they were almost completely flat. That was good. Now let's let Harper take a turn. Now remember girls, what's the focus? 
Hand turned in, knees off the ground, and flatten the hips and the candlestick. Mountain climber. Oh, let's do the poses. Sorry, Harper. I keep forgetting that. And cross, open, up. Mountain climber, cartwheel, step together, backward, roll to a tuck, and stand. Oh, no, almost candlestick. Roll up and pose. Wow, she gets two whole points for that. Her knees did touch the ground for a second there after the backward roll, but that's okay because I bet next time it's going to be better. Hey, Claire, how are you? Okay, last but not least, Miss Ellie. Let's see it. All right, and cross, open, up. Mountain climber, cartwheel, step together, backward roll to a tuck, yes, and finish, candlestick, roll, up and pose, yes, oh my goodness, did you see how she kept her knees up there, that was amazing, she gets a point for keeping her knees up, a point for turning her hand in, but I think we could still get those hips a little bit flatter. All right, that was our 20 minute floor rotation and we got so much done. We did a good warm up and the things that we did during warm up is what we've been focusing on in our routine. And then we also got to work on the difference between a lunge and a mountain climber. And then we played a game and who won? Well, who do you think? Let's look at the tally marks. Team one, how many is this? Five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 points for team one. Team two, five, 10, 14. Oh, that's really close. You girls were only four points away from each other. Can I get a high five? And can you girls say goodbye to the camera? Goodbye. You girls are amazing. Do you want to say goodbye to them? Goodbye.